Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Scooby. Today I'm gonna show you another add-on slash client that helps you improve your FPS. So if you're interested, stick around. And here it is, the Performance Plus V2.1. Now, of course, this is an add-on that aims to improve the client and server side of Minecraft while keeping the player's choice and vanilla look in mind. And it does that super nicely and it's very clean. And of course, it does the most important thing and improve FPS. So here you go. All you need to do is make sure it's active. And of course, if you want to download this add-on, link is in the description down below. And also a video on how to install add-ons if you do not know how to do so. And once you're in the world, it's going to look like this. And instantly, you can tell in the top right corner that there is a performance plus v 2.1 little logo and it says item in hand and beneath that is game mode creative and platforms you can tell i'm currently on windows and an fps counter and if i do sneak you can see there's a little other thing in the bottom right that tells you that i am sneaking there's also a permanent crosshair on screen so if people like that you can have a nice permanent crosshair to help out so it's super nice and very clean of course it's not the only thing it changes so if we go to first person you can see that the coordinates have changed they kind of color coded the x y and z axis just to make it a bit more easier to understand where you are so that's very nice and cool now if i was walking you can see also in the bottom right that there it says i'm walking if i jump it's a jump in so it's nice and gives you like kind of a description like you see sometimes on those Java videos. So if we go into the water, you can see it says walking for swimming, which is a bit weird, but it's still super nice. Now, of course, if we were to hold a diamond pickaxe, you can see where it says item in hand, it says diamond pickaxe. Same thing if I go to a diamond sword, it switches to it. Also, you might also notice by now that in the right hand of the screen, it shows that I'm holding a diamond sword and a pickaxe so it's very cool and you can also equip armor and it will show right there so it's very cool and it kind of shows you the durability of your items which is super nice so of course let's go to survival to show how it looks in survival this is how it looks in survival as you can see now it has taken away what game mode I am in and it just currently just says nothing. So very cool and of course it still says I'm Windows and if I were to swing with the diamond sword it's super nice and very clean. Now of course that's not all that's important that's very cool client stuff that's super nice but you're here for the performance. So if we press escape now on mobile you do get a little like mod window that if you want to you can play around with but on Windows 10 sadly you do not have that. So let's bring up the settings and go into settings of course and we're bam so you have some nice quick settings right here you know hide 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 hand type deal and you know your camera's perspective and if you scroll down you get this nice performance option right here that gives you some of the nice performance options like v-sync so you can turn v-sync up if you do so wish over here we've got an fps locker of course currently it's unlimited and you can actually play around with this and select like say 10 frames and now you can see I have 10 frames and FPS counter updates to say I have 10 frames. Of course you can also have an auto clear chat that allows you to clear the chat like they say here like in the hive server and just kind of clears and makes it nice and clean. Of course you have this button here that doesn't do anything but it sure is fun to click. But there you go that's how you can get another add-on that helps you improve your FPS in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you did enjoy and you made it this far, comment down, sand in the comment section down below. But other than that, make sure you have a like, comment, subscribe, share this with all your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.